Hello, friends. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back. I'm excited because I missed talking to you guys. Down. Oh, not a boy. Yeah, and me. Uh, rude. Um, let's see. Here. Okay, wait. So hold on. I had some basketball updates. Well, not really updates, but. For, I mentioned the women's opening day. The men open up on the 15th, so next Tuesday. Um, but they're in Florida, unfortunately. That sucks. Yeah, they're not home until... Sunday, December, December right? 4th. That's the last day of classes. Or... No, no Sunday. Not a Sunday. Hello. That's the week of the last day of classes. The last day of classes is, is the 6th, I, I believe. Ugly. So, yeah, so they're... You have to go to the game. Okay. It's super fun. So, um, yeah, they're in Florida for the first game. Then they go to, uh, they take part in a Alaska shootout. It's called the GCI Great Alaska Shootout, which is, the weird thing is, their first game is in Reno, Nevada. Wait, what? Like, the, the tournament thing that they're in, the shootout, is called the Great Alaska, or GCI Great, yeah, their first game is in Nevada, against Nevada, which is very weird. But then the the last three games are all in Anchorage, Alaska. That's cool. Yeah. Let's go. Same. Let's go. Well, only if we can play with the bears and bring home a moose. And name it Sven. He's a reindeer. It's different. I know, but like it's close. I just teared. Okay. <laughs> Reindeers are better than people. Sven, don't you think I'm right? Wait, is that I, thing as sh- Yes, that's true. Is it true? Well, people will beat you and curse you and treat you. Every one of them. Something. Except you. Except you. Oh, thanks, buddy. But people <laughs> smell better than the reindeers. reindeers. Sven, don't you think that's true? That's part. Uh, we should have a, fro- a frozen sing-along day. I'd be down. What does he say after that? Oh, I say can't That's remember. once again true. Oh, well, except you. Oh, you. That's what it is. <laughs> Wait, was it? We messed it up. Thanks, buddy. That's true. Let's For all call except it you. Night. Good night. Nine. Don't, Don't let the frost bite. <laughs> bye. We're ugly. <laughs> Literally. So I bad. love it. But yeah, um, we open up at home on the fourth, like I said, against Niagara. Woo! Yeah. That's gonna be a great game. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. But the honestly, I'm really more excited for obviously Monmouth and Manhattan. Those are yes, really the always. two biggest competitors. So we don't play Monmouth until Friday, January 6th at 7. And then we play Manhattan. But the Monmouth, the first two games of oh, both, like the, the, what are the words? When we play <laughs> both teams at their gyms, the... That wasn't a fart. That was the chair. I don't know if anyone... I heard. didn't hear anything, okay. so that's fine. I just wanted... You could just let it go. Yeah. And let it go. Let it go. <laughs> um, I'm falling on my chair. Ah, oh, no, wait, come back. Ah! You okay. know what's cute is that you're so short that your feet don't touch the floor. They do, thank you. I'm Barely. just sitting on the, the inclined part. Barely. <laughs> I just want to say shout out to all the bear... What? Have you never seen that vine of Rick Ross? Can I continue what I was saying? Then you can go to that. Thank you very much. So we, we play at Monmouth Friday, January 6th at 7, like I said. And then we play at Manhattan to, on a Tuesday. Why would they make that game a Tuesday? Going up on a Tuesday. No. It's a good thing I don't have class on, uh, after 12 on that day because I'm going. It's going to be great. Um, and you bet your bottom dollars, guys, that me and the boy f- are going to have our bet on again. Bet your bottom dollar. Oh. So for those of you who don't know, boy fun to Manhattan. I got a dollar. I got okay. a dollar. I got a dollar. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. No, I'm actually the little one that gets excited for the pickle. I got a pickle. I got a pickle. Same. I got a pickle. But yes. Hey, hey, hey. So, Boyf and I have a bet that we do, or that we, we started last year. Actually, yeah, it's, it's my initiation. I support it. Thanks. <laughs> and the deal was that whoever's team lost, they had to wear the winning team's gear for social mm-hmm. media. And, of course, 
I own a lot of both games, but we only did the, the bet for the game at Manhattan, partially because I was working the game here, so it's a little hard, but you, you bet your bottom dollar that it's going to be on for both games, and I'm excited. So that game was Tuesday, January 17th at 7, but then what's annoying too is that, like, obviously they wanted to wait to like closer to the semester start so they can have more people come to that game, yeah. which is partially the reason why they did the the game at Monmouth in January, early January. So right. like makes sense. It would be easier to have more people here for it, which is very smart if Iona did that on purpose, which I'm assuming they Iona did that and on I purpose. I appreciate that because honestly You loyal. Yeah, really. I um, appreciate you. And then we don't play either team again for about a month as we play this is the worst part, too. I was really upset because um, Panic at the Disco is playing at Mohegan Sun the uh, Friday, February 24th at, like, 7 or 8 o'clock at night. And my birthday is, like, two weeks before. So, for my birthday, I was talking to my mom about, like, I'm turning 21, so it's going to be, like, a good fiesta time. <laughs> and um, Good fiesta time. Shut it. Leave me alone. It's I'm, been a long day, as I'm, you know. Tweet You've been- that. Someone tweet it, please. Um, so I asked my mom if we can do that for my birthday weekend. Like, my family, my sister's boyfriend and my boyfriend are just like, come, we'll have a nice little family weekend for a little fiance time. Um, and then the schedule got released for basketball. And it wasn't, like, definitely set until, like, an hour or so after I saw it. And when I saw that we were playing Manhattan, I think... I don't know what she I because I blah, 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 words we were playing mm. <laughs> Monmouth and Manhattan in the same weekend at home That's and I was like lit it's lit but then I had to cancel my plans oh and I was so upset but then I went to go see if they were playing again but luckily they're playing on I think it's March second at Madison Square Garden so I think we're gonna try and go to that concert Ooh. me and boy if, oh yeah. I'm ugly. I mean, you can go too. I'm not going to tell you you can't go. No, it was that you were talking about Panic at the Disco and I thought... Yeah, they're playing at... Mar- when you said they're playing at Madison Square Garden. You love the basketball game? At least you tried. I was like, that's fun. We need to go. Are at you least kidding? you tried. It's fine. I forgive you. We'll let that one go. Because that was a very... That wasn't that bad. We'll let it go. I'm ugly. But yeah. So I was really upset. I had to cancel my plans and everything. But it's fine. We're going to do something different. But... I'm excited for that weekend because it's two big games in one weekend. Fiesta! Fiesta! It's the noche fiesta! That's all I'm going to do for your birthday weekend. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to blow out all the lights in our room. Thanks. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. But yeah, oh, actually, I didn't realize this until just this second. Of course, those two games are both at home the same weekend. And they're the last two games of the season. Wow. So basically, those two games might be... The the what call, ends up being the deciding factor on standings because we all know for like most likely gonna it's going to be those three teams at the top. That's going to be crazy. Yeah. That. Oh my god. I'm already like honestly, you saying that made me stressed. My heart's I know, like. I know that the tickets are going to be crazy for that weekend. Yeah. We're honestly, gonna have to get up at like five a.m. But, but the good thing I'll give you a little tip if anyone's watching this, feel free to listen in. What they do is or what they did last year. If you went to one of the the early season games, like the like the ones that are coming up, yes. they did. If you go to this game, you get an automatic ticket, ticket to either one, one of the, the games. And True. I think they did at first the Monmouth game. Yeah, I think and it was then the I think to, game. they saw how good of a deal that, that was, did. and they did. I think they did it for the Manhattan game too. Yeah, because or, like literally, guys, when we tell you that the games are so good here, especially for Monmouth and Manhattan. Those are the biggest games. Even, sometimes the other schools are, aren't bad, but, like, but those like are the those two biggest games. Specifically, it's crazy. Yeah. Like, literally, for freshman year, when they were playing them, I kid you not, they were, like, tickets, let's say, like, we're gonna give out tickets at, like, 11. There was a line f- starting from where they were giving out the tickets in the cafeteria, all the way around the cafeteria, outside, and it was like nine, like people were lined up. For yeah, hours. I heard. I heard the game for this past season, so like our sophomore year of college, um, that obviously because I I'm part of the media now, I don't have to get tickets, so I'm very fortunate with that. Knock on wood. Um, but I heard that this year they were, because our freshman year the tickets were were being handed out at eleven, I think it was. Mm-hmm. 
Or was it no? Or was it twelve? Eleven or twelve? I forgot because I had class beforehand. It was probably twelve. I think it was because twelve. That's when everyone's free. Yeah, because it was it was a twelve a twelve o'clock. I think the day of the game because it was a gold rush game. Yes. Because they gave out t-shirts. And t-shirts. Yep. And it was just like I think also the way they set it up was weird too because a it was winter time so it was cold so they didn't want people to be out in the cold so the way they set it up was if you know our Spelman building there's if you're looking at it from like the outside there's the two staircases kind of on the the inside of of the stairs and what you had to do was the line started on the right side and people were downstairs like by the door going into the cafeteria like they like locked that door practically yep and then um it was crazy and then it went up I, like, and, honestly didn't expect... Like, I yeah. knew it was a big game. I knew it was going to be big, but honestly, what confused me, though, was that there was no one outside directing people where to go. Because what happened was, I felt really bad, but then I was like, I want my ticket, so I'm just going to do it anyway. The The line went up the stairs and, like, around the hall, because there's a hallway behind mm-hmm. the portico. Yeah. And it cuts through the Burke Lounge lobby wow, area. I know what you did. Yeah, and then it, <laughs> and then it went back and like I think it went outside afterwards. Yeah, it and, did. Uh, no one told us, so a lot of us just went right to that first door because we figured, okay, there's no one here. I guess they're doing it this way. Which when I got there, there weren't that many people there, so I lucked out. So either way, I probably would have gotten a ticket. Yeah, but. I ended up, like, cutting people by accident. But then again, I was like, you know, I'm cutting people because I was outside. But even though I cut people, I was still here before a lot of people were. So I didn't know where to go. Yeah, and then at one point, I remember it got, like, so packed. And the line started to, like, block the exits that they tried to figure out a way that um wouldn't we wouldn't block the exit. But at the same time, we were, like, in order. And when that happened... it. Yeah, it was like terrible. honestly, they should have just given people a, a, a like someone should have gone through the line and gave people a number. Literally, and they would said, okay, this is your number. This is your number. Yeah, and then this past year, what they did for the Manhattan game, not really the Monmouth game, because I mean the Monmouth game, what they did was we we played at home first because we played at home the Friday before classes started. Because I was here for the transfer student orientation, so I got to move into my dorm early for the second semester, and that was when Jordan Washington slapped the kid and everything. Blah blah blah. Um, NBD. So after that game, because that was the game, the first game we lost after five seasons. Yeah, so that was like, the first game we lost in a really long time. Well, mostly, it was the first game we lost at home in a very long time, and we were on like a a run of we like games. I think it was like forty three games we we had won in a row, something like that. We were on a Snapchat streak. Okay. So then, what they did was after that game, um, for the M- Manhattan game. They really they had tickets for, to go to Monmouth for the, the, for the road game and everything that I didn't go to I didn't get a chance to go to that one but then when it came time for the Manhattan game they had people um, with the tickets voucher from the, the yes. previous mm-hmm. uh, offer yeah because I I did that I yeah went during the uh, when there was no school it was like just when school was about to start back up yeah again. yeah I went to that with my mom my brother and Ernie and I appreciate that because yeah. like when i came when we were back in school they were like oh yeah if you had that ticket if you went to that game i was like Lit. yeah i don't have to wait on a line at 9 a.m or 8 a.m no because what they do was the tickets were being handed out at seven like the line started for me at seven yeah but people got there at like, like five earlier. o'clock in the morning yeah and i was like thank goodness i have a media pass i don't need to go and like early or anything because i would have cried it would have been horrible like i just want to know like Whoever that first person is. Like, that was smart to get there at 5 o'clock in the morning. Because people got there at 7, and they I don't think they got tickets. No, for sure they didn't. Because it happened, and I'm telling you, they definitely learned from the first time with the one during freshman year. Yeah. Because I specifically remember that. It was, like, crazy. The line was outside of Spelman, and, like, there was still at least an hour and a half before they were going to start giving the tickets yeah. out. And people were like, this is ridiculous. And a yeah. lot of people didn't like ended up not getting tickets so i mean i think what they did better with this one around this time around was that they did it by the gym so everyone was on the stairs oh yeah it was even like though it was cold a little more uniform yeah it yeah. was easier because even there was one game that i went to that i had to get a ticket for because i wasn't part of the media yet that time and um it was like earlier on the season it was first semester and i forgot what game it was actually jill has a spotify now so soundcloud it's that not Spotify. what I meant. I got Words. excited because you said you're part of the media, and then I thought of it. Well, I also have a YouTube page. Thanks for shouting that out. Rude. 
She has a YouTube and a SoundCloud. Follow her. Her mixtape is fire. About to drop in 2K17. <laughs> January 1st. Featuring me. 12.01 a.m. 12.01 a.m. <laughs> Be on the lookout. I can cry. <sighs> so, yeah. I'm excited though for basketball. I hopefully we'll have a good recap of it next week for you guys. Yeah. Also, keep your eyes out tomorrow. I'm assuming around 10 p.m., 11 p.m. or so. My stand up will be up, or hopefully I'll have to stand up done tomorrow for the women's game. But catch yes. you tomorrow. That's my roommate. That's my roommate. That's my roommate. Watch it. I'm going to share Thanks. it. Thanks. Thanks. You're so great. She always shares my stuff. <laughs> always. But unfortunately, we have to say goodbye for this week. Oh, that was a fast show. It was. Was that Pierce? That was definitely Pierce. It probably was Pierce. He's everywhere. But yeah. Love we'll Pierce. talk to you guys next week. In the meantime, we have some sick beats for you. So we enjoy you. Jo- we hope you enjoy them. And Everybody we'll talk to you next week. Sometimes, you know. Oh. That was your sick beat. Anyway, same time, same place. You know where to find us next Thursday. We love you all. W I C R Gems here, live from the Lapenta basement across from Starbucks. <laughs>